Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And I want to do a quick little tutorial on using Toon Boom Harmony's kinematic output. Now, it sounds like a complicated thing, but basically what it means is you don't want something to be distorted. And this is if you're using one of the distortion rigs, whether it's the uh, bone deformer or the curve deformer, you can still use a kinematic output to stop certain items from being distorted or deformed. So what I have here is my character, the pepper, and I'm going to grab my transform tool. I have him already rigged up here. So I want to select the body and I'm going to show the selected deformers and pretty much I have it set that I can move his body and I have the face and pretty much the mouth and everything parented to this so it's going to move along with it. The problem is if I bend this down too far you notice his nose is getting way distorted there. Okay so how do we stop that? So I'm just going to do Command-Z, Control-Z on PC. So I'm going to come here to my timeline. I'm going to open up the bone area. And so I see the body. I see the eyebrows, the hat, the mouth, the eyes, and the nose, as well as the hair. So what I need to do is make sure that everything except the body is not deformed when we decide to bend the body. So even though all of this is parented to the body, we're going to make sure that we don't get that weird pointy nose or any other deformations or distortions we don't want. So to do this, I'm going to select the eyebrows. I'm going to go to my add layers and I'm going to come down and select kinematic output. Okay. So what I want you to think when we think kinematic output is bone deformation freeze or curve deformation freeze, because we're telling it not to deform these areas at all. So we have the eyes. I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the rest of the elements that I want in our kinematic output, our deformation freeze. And let's make sure the eyebrows get back up top where they belong. All right, I'm going to close that out and go ahead and collapse this layer. And now if I decide to rotate the head, we're not getting that weird little thing happening with the nose anymore. And on top of that, I still have the ability to grab the nose and everything like that and still move that around during the animation if I choose to. And just undo that. So kinematic output, it is used whenever you want to use either a curve deformer or a bone deformer. And you can go in and tell different elements, I don't want you to be distorted or deformed or bone deformation freeze. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Uh, letting you guys know we've got a hangout where we're going to be actually working with our little character, the pepper here. And it's coming up on September 2nd at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you'd like, we'll put up a link here, but you can actually go to our Selfie link and download the character um, ahead of the Hangout. You can download it even today and start playing around with it, have some fun. And here's the thing, uh, it's free for you to download if you'd like to tweet and share it. And if you'd like to send a small donation to Tony Teach to help us keep things going, you can always just donate and download and it's just for $10. So you can either tweet about it or give us a donation and still tweet about it. That's cool too. 
All right, so this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.